T4 PO Box 444 London SW1P 2WD. That's T4 PO Box 444 London SW1P 2WD. Anyway, Animal Alphabet after the break, so don't go away. <laughs> I could be your newest attraction, the perfect man. Introducing Johnny Bravo. Can I help you? Coming soon on T4, it's Sister Sister Sunday. Why the doors were off the window? Join Tia and Tamara for a whole two hours of... And there's your chance to vote for your favourite episode of Sister Sister and win a fantastic trip to Los Angeles. It's not simple enough. Come on, girl, let's get our bounce on. Sister Sister Sunday, coming soon to T4. Welcome back, this is T4. Coming up... Good morning, you're watching T4 and while you've been sitting there watching Dog City, I've been flicking through a couple of your emails. We've got one from, it's a dad, yeah, it's to Joe and Dan. He says, yes, I know that watching T4 in bed is brilliant, but the telly is on downstairs and there's toast. Well, that's not very good persuasion to get them to come down and eat breakfast, is it? I'm sure you can do better, Dad. We've got another one from another daddy. It's Daddy Bendel. He says, good morning to Maddie, Max and Duncan, who have got their daddy up very early this morning and are watching T4 to keep them quiet. T4 doesn't really make people quiet. It makes them scream with excitement. I'm sure you can do better than that, Dad. God, they're a bit pathetic to this morning, aren't they? Anyway, another one from Alice, a five fan. She says, last weekend I was watching Sister Sister and all of a sudden the TV switched channel and it wouldn't even turn back or off until 12 o'clock. There's something strange going on. We've got loads coming up this morning on T4, including Home to Rent. It's up at next, even. A monster's going home in a UFO. At 7.35, it's Tintin and they're on the moon. Tintin saves the day as usual. And at 5 past 8, Johnny Bravo is meeting Adam West and Johnny Osmond. Don't know who they are? Ask your mum. 8.35, sister, sister, a customer and Tia. Get it on. Now this guy is seriously cute, so make sure you look out for him. Right, we've got another, a couple more e emails even. It's Fen for his birthday. The number to call is 0171 222 4044. That's 0171 222 4044. And I'm reliably assured, in, informed that someone's found something that I can give him. Right now, still to come on T4 this morning, we've got Sister Sister there up next. And Ray, the dad, has gone a bit, oh, a bit protective because Tia's gone and got herself a boyfriend. Then it's Wise Up. It's all about integrated schools this week and what a newspaper seller's all about. We don't know. It's at 5 past 9. And Planet Pops at 9.40. Alberta and Lut the lovely Latricia McNeil will be on your screens. It's all to come on T4. We're here till about 1 o'clock. Hitting. It's not funny. I am Michael Owen. What's what's? Except no alternatives. You're watching No Balls Allowed. Next week on T4, you can see an extra long Planet Pop the Witch special, which means that for 1998, this is the last edition of T-Force. So let's get Christmassy. Some people measure their years by the season, some by the passing of the moon and the sun. For most of us, a calendar will do, and let's face it, at this time of year, they arrive by the bucket load. However, it's no longer enough just to have the calendar and know which month it is. Now you need a picture to go with it. And as you can see, I'm surrounded by some of the calendars that are supposed to be tipped for the top for 1999. However, here at T4, we've come up with a top three selection. We've sifted through the tap, and let's face it, some of them can be pretty tatty, to bring you the top calendars which will keep you happy and your walls amused for the whole of the next 12 months. And three, we have the Michael Owen. 
currently one of the best selling calendars on the market. However, unfortunately, Michael happens to look a bit more like a catalogue model than a professional footballer, and there just isn't enough action. At two, a quality purchase, the Robbie Williams, a man guaranteed to keep any wall happy as long as he could sing. The pictures are great, the style is fantastic, and he really looks the part. But our tip for the top for 1999 is this, the German Shepherd Dog from the Kennel Club. You've got passion, you've got action, you've got drool, you've got tongues, and also you've got the one picture that no bedroom wall calendar should be without, the swimwear shot. This is guaranteed to keep your walls happy and keep you smiling for the whole of the year and is a definite purchase for Christmas 98. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas if we didn't have the annual tidal wave of game releases. Could be the last big year for these guys. Yep, new consoles are expected in 1999. So the major players are wheeling out this lot while they still can. FIFA 99 is a bit like those calendars. You get a new one every year. But the update is slick, accurate and looks great. There are more player moves, better character drawing and a bundle of in-the-air action letting you do your very own Marco Van Basten. Great player, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, tragically short for me. Settlers 3 on the PC is yet another godsend, letting you control your own little village of cute characters as they go about their lives, fighting, building, reproducing and generally getting themselves into a fix. The game looks great and plays well, but coming hard on the heels of Populous 3 is going to suffer badly in comparison. Finishing off our trio of sequels is Crash Bandicoot 3. The game has all the appeal of the first two games and more. The action is faster, the puzzles more convoluted and the baddies even meaner. Crash fans will love it, while even novices and sceptics are liable to be sucked into this fab follow-up. Consumer-wise, Christmas is the time of year when the usual rules of business just don't apply. Value for money, customer satisfaction and quality control go out the window. They're replaced by a whirlwind of cheap and naff trinkets which are about as useful as an ashtray on a motorbike. T-Force decided to send out their top team of researchers to compile from the high streets and back streets of Britain a top five. Holding steady at five, you can't go wrong with the classic Santa hat. New in at number four, the office party fave is novelty reindeer antlers. At three, for mum or dad to wear on Christmas day jingle bell earrings. Down one to two, every home should have one. A chocolate Santa looks like a bishop. And storming the top spot at number one for Christmas 98, the singing Christmas tree. Christmas TV season kicks off in about a week's time, but as a curtain raiser, you can see our very own Johnny Bourne interviewing the legendary Madonna. She's so big, she's an entire industry, but unlike Spice Girls, she can't spit up. Johnny's granted a rare audience with the legend, but of course he doesn't get it all his own way. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Did you used to be a boxer? What's your birth date? Don't do that. They hate you on that side. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Do you think... It's an interview and it's serious. Sorry, sorry. Well, that's my seasonal roundup, but if all that lot's not enough to tickle your tinsel, then maybe this lot's enough to get your turkey gobbling. America's favourite family are along at 10, but there's a storm brewing over Walton's Mountain. After that, everybody get up, it's a special live performance by Five from the Docklands Arena. And then, at 11, it's the unbeatable Hollyoaks. Don't miss a catfight and a half between Ruth and Kate. Mark Wilson won our DJ competition last week. Find out what happens when he meets Judge Jules. And then I meet the Spice Girls after that. Mel B tells us exclusively why she won't wear maternity pants. And T4 is rounded off as ever by the lovely Mel and Sue with Paul Whitehouse and Charlie Higson. Here's another far show now on T4. It's time for Planet Pop. It's actually not bad, but it's freezing here, so when we go inside with Nutrition Neil is waiting to warm us up. Excellent. Now, Mark's been driving me crazy all week, practicing his tricks, so I've decided to get myself some professional help. I'm going to be meeting the best. <laughs> There's
there's another late lunch on Wednesday on Channel 4 at 6 o'clock. And, of course, the girls will be back at the same time next week on T4. Now, we've got loads of callers on the line wanting to win that Palm Top computer. Let's go to Dominic Hunt in all the shot. Hi, Dominic. Hi, Ben. How's it going, mate? Not too bad, yourself. Now, you're quite keen to win this Palm Top computer because you keep forgetting birthdays. Yeah, birthdays, appointments, anything. All right, then. It's important that you win it. All you've got to do is answer the question, mate. Who does Mandy receive a letter from? It was her dad. It was. Congratulations. Hey. Well done, mate. That Excellent. Palm Top computer is winging its way to Aldershop as we speak. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Have a good Christmas. Thanks for everyone who's contacted us today on T4. We've had loads of phone calls and faxes. Lots of you would like to get hold of a famous person for the day. This one's come through from Sam Mountain in Brackwell. She said she'd like to spend the day with Brad Pitt, go on a date, posh hotel, he'd pay, she'd stay. Sounds good. We'll see you next week. Bye. Preparations, 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 preparations. Tell me. What's in the looking glass? Preparations, preparations. Escape from it all on four. It's Palmer versus Roma in a top of the table clash from Serie A. It's live and it's next here on four.